Well, hi everybody. This is my only my second hunt this year. I'm out, out at a little country park. I got a little signal in here, so let's see what it is. I'm gonna have to dig here. I think it's a junk. Well, that's all it was. I turned the camera off for a second. Just a old penny. Just a zinky. So, of course, I'm out here with the. Probably can't see it. This is a contrast. But my lab. 705. It says 44, but that's not what it was. It's a stinking penny. Oh, right where I found that penny, I'm getting a. Higher tone here. 40, 42, and 38. Could be a dime to a quarter in there. Hi, I'm back again. I kind of seem to be getting a good tones in here. So that six. Probably another penny, and that's all I've been buying. Up. The other area I was just at. Found three pennies in a dime. So let's see how it reads when we go pinpoint. Now it says 20. Well, let's find out. Let's see. We're going to be real clumsy here. I'm filming this with a Fuji. X90, a little underwater camera. Okay, it's working. Of course, now I've forgotten where I was. It's too deep for this. I'm sure, it was right there. Alright, let's wave that over there, me and my stupid brain. This in the center. A screwdriver. And get out the old digger. Dig it live, even though it's going to be junk. It'd possibly be another penny, most likely. Maybe a dime. And I think the signal is getting a little chunky. The soil is pretty still wet. We've had a lot of rain here. We had a pretty good rainstorm on Thursday that dumped a couple of inches. I got soaked. Wasn't metal detecting. I was at work. I had to go outside and walk up a bunch of buildings at the university I work at. That wasn't fun. Okay. Well, these two pinpoints are pretty good. Well, well, not quite. This is right over there. A little off to the side. Well, I'm back. It was a quarter. I was way off. I had the, the coil too close to the hole. That's why I was kept thinking the signal was over there. And it was a quarter. It was, it was, only, it was right in here. I should be allowed to drop a pin pointing yet because I had pieces of metal too close. It's really good for not being out. Detecting, getting back in the groove. Well, I got me another signal with, a, with a, some good high tones 38, 40, 42, 44. I get bouncing there, and at one time I hit an 18. It appears to be kind of shallow. I hit it with the, the pinpointer. This pinpointer doesn't pinpoint too deep. It's a Detechnics, but 
for 80 bucks. It's worked pretty good. It's outlasted my, uh, oh, what was it? Pinpointer I had, I had bought two years ago, and that one didn't even last six months, and it just croaked. It wasn't, it wasn't, it cost me $127. And I farted around and never, well, I couldn't find the, the purchase order on it. And then, oh, look at that, I poked right into it. One of those aluminum caps to a little drink. Be sure. Yep, when it's finally out of the hole, it's a four. Oh well, I'll just put it in the junk pile here. I'm not using a big pouch today. I usually have a big relic pouch. I got this at Walmart in the outdoor section. It has three little zippies here for little bits of trash in my manual for my keys and phone and one for the coins. Eh, I can't remember how much it was. Maybe seven dollars, ten dollars. I don't know. Well. That's, that's actually only the second piece of junk I've dug, so my success has been pretty good with the program. I programmed it pattern into the 705 for mainly just coins today and a few junk signals here and there just in case it might pop up a ring or something. Oh, but this area right here, that little table over there on Labor Day of last year, which when I came out to hunt on my birthday, that's where I found the silver ring sitting right on the table as I was programming the, the detector. I didn't even have to do much detecting that day. I called that pretty much a day for me and I went off and done other things. <laughs> but, oh, it hasn't been all that great weather for me to go out and hunt. I like it a little bit warmer. I don't like it too wet. And I only hunt on the weekends. I don't hunt during the work week because I work a swing shift at the university, and I'm not going to go out and hunt in the morning and early afternoon hours and then have to go to work. So the weekends, when I do all my hunting when I can, I probably only amount to an hour or so per weekend hunting. I'm not a heavy hitter like a lot of you. Go out and put some exercise, get some fresh air, and dig in the ground and see what treasures I can pull up. Oh, God, if I, I'll look at that little butterfly. We got a real good, good strong one here. Staying right on 42. Now it jumps. Let's see what it does when you hit pin point. That, to me, that doesn't mean a whole lot. Because that's what it did with those pennies. sensitivity on the set at around 17 because it is a, a bit trashy area if I were to okay right right in there put the little big toe in there okay now we know it's right there okay it's deep too deep for this well oh, maybe not well let's move that away remember the last problem I had Soil is just 
packs back just fine. Hold on, weed. Get that thing out of here. Oh, maybe he got it out of the hole, wasn't it? Oh, maybe we got a quarter, maybe. It's be just weird that this thing is not beeping or picking nothing up. Too close to that damn thing again. I bet you that's what it was. Fooling me again. <laughs> <laughs> 